Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's time for another three coin update. And uh, we've got a wide variety of coins we're gonna talk about in this particular video. The first one is Safe Moon, which is a community-based coin. It is not one that I own. I always tell you when I do these updates, which one I own, which ones I own, if it's more than one, which ones I don't, uh, if it's more than one. But uh, for this particular video, it's kind of a variety. Uh, we've got Safe Moon, we've got Monero and Zilliqa. Uh, interesting things happening with Zilliqa. I've done some more due diligence on Zilliqa, and it's one I'm really starting to like. So that's at the end of the video. Make sure you stick around for that. Uh, but Monero works in the privacy sector. We're going to talk a little bit more about them and where their long-term future uh, lies. And then we're going to start with SafeMoon, which is the community-based coin that I don't own. I do own Shiba Inu and Dogecoin. I don't own SafeMoon and Baby Doge. Those two are outside of my top two that I do look at occasionally because I think they're interesting. They're obviously growing. Uh, one has over 550,000 holders in Baby Doge. SafeMoon has over a million. Uh, so it's something you can't really ignore. Now, SafeMoon is not in the top 100, but it is number 210, and it's kind of been hanging out here for a while. Uh, we're going to get into that in just a minute. Let me just bounce over here real quick and let you know about our private community. If you want to join, the link is down in the description. We've got an awesome community brewing, and uh, it's a great place to learn about crypto. I'll answer any questions you have. Our entire community will as well. I'll take a look at your portfolio for you. You can cancel at any time. I think you're really going to enjoy it if you decide to join uh, up with us over there. Uh, you're going to get a ton of value from a lot of smart people all around the crypto space, and it just brings everything together because this crypto journey can kind of be lonely sometimes. You're kind of just you know, hanging out, and sometimes your friends don't really invest in crypto, you don't have anybody to talk to about it, and well, we've got a place for you. Uh, come on over, we'll welcome you in with open arms. So let's bounce back over to Safe Moon real quick. And um, as I mentioned, it's ranked number 210. Now, there aren't a lot of things to talk about in terms of the technicals and use case, right? Because it is a community-based coin, but it is trying to get there, right? Here's the thing with this community space, right? And Dogecoin and Safe Moon and Shiba Inu. Uh, while there isn't a use case, there's a community. So there's some kind of social aspect to it. And I think over time, we're going to figure out the use cases. I don't really get hung up on those sort of things. A lot of people will say like, well, what are you going to use it for? You know, well, what are people really using Bitcoin for? Are they really buying Teslas with it? No, uh, but they know it's valuable. They know it's a stored asset. They know if they keep and hold it, that it's going to make them money in the long run. So I think it's kind of an you know, arbitrary argument sometimes. You know, what's the use case? I mean... However, if it has a really powerful use case, then that adds to you know uh, you know the asset, and it adds to why I like it or not you know don't like it. But for Safe Moon, it's the community. They're over a million holders, which is pretty astonishing. They've been flat for a long time. You can see here, uh, you know, they've been kind of slowly trending down, but more or less just staying really really flat right now. Are they going to explode like they did? Uh, way back in May, uh, and they did obviously before that in April, so they've actually shot up twice. Uh, so I think another, you know, peak is in store for them, and um, when that happens, I'm not quite sure, but it'll be interesting to continue to keep tabs on this. Now, they are decentralized finance token according to SafeMoon's website. SafeMoon has three functions that take place during each trade, reflection, LP acquisition, and burning. Uh, the SafeMoon protocol is a combination of RFI tokenomics and an auto liquidity generating protocol. So head over to their website if you want to learn more about SafeMoon. But it's an interesting one. It should definitely be on your radar. All right, so let's pop over to the second one, Monero. Now, this one is ranked in the top 30, number 28. And this has been around for a long time, XMR. And uh, Monero is heading back upwards. They actually just shot up in May uh, before that, you got to go way back to 2017 where they actually had a huge run up too. So you could tell they've been around for a long time. Their all time high uh, was actually set three months ago, $517. It's still 50% off of that. Uh, so we could still see a big run up. It's down right now with the overall market. But with Monero, uh, it was launched in 2014. So as I mentioned, it's been around a long time. Uh, so XMR is designed to obscure senders and recipients alike through the use of advanced cryptography, okay? So the team behind Monero say privacy and security are their biggest priorities, with ease of use and efficiency coming second. It aims to provide protection to all users, irrespective of how technologically competent they are. As we know, blockchain technology is still very new. There haven't been a ton of adopters yet. However, 
when people do adopt crypto, I believe, personally, not a financial advisor here, just my opinions, privacy and security are going to be at the forefront, right? The more people that we get to hop in to crypto, privacy is going to become more and more important. We just had a situation happen the other day, right? Privacy. It continues to be a focal point online and especially in the crypto space. Monero is the big player in the privacy area. So if you're looking for in that direction, look no further than XMR, all right? Now this one I'm pretty excited about. I wanna end with this one and I wanna talk the most about this one. Zillica, ranked number 79. I've done some due diligence here, still digging in there a little bit deeper, but it has an interesting use case and it's very decentralized. And not a lot of people talk about Zillica. Zill is the ticker symbol. Rank number 79, so it's in the top 100. It checks that box for me. It is down right now 7.65%. It's well off its all-time highs, which I'm okay with, right? We want to buy low, sell high. So I'm looking at this one very closely. The all-time high is 25 cents. Right now it's at 9 cents. I am actually thinking about opening up a position here in Zillica. And if I do, my insiders over at the Patreon will know because I send them buy and sell trade alerts. Now, back to Zill. Let's go and scroll down here because there's some interesting notes here. I want to go to what makes this unique. Okay. It claims to be the world's first public blockchain. So we have private blockchains and public blockchains, right? This is a public blockchain to rely entirely on a sharded network. This allows it to achieve high throughput and a high rate of transactions per second, which is always troubling in the crypto space, which it says solves the scalability issue. Also a big issue with a lot of currencies. Because each shard processes transactions individually, as the network grows and the number of shards increases, the number of transactions that can be processed per second also increases. Really brilliant how they thought this out. As well, records are immediately added to the Zillica blockchain after being processed, meaning that no additional time for confirmation is required. Now, wait for this. Zillica seeks to become the blockchain of choice for large-scale enterprise use. Hmm. In its 2018 position paper, it, the team states that the platform aims to rival traditional centralized payment methods such as Visa and MasterCard. Now again, do your own due diligence here, but I'm really starting to like Zillica. It's been as high as 20 cents in the last 90 days. It's been as high as only 10 cents here in the past 30. It's at 9 cents right now, down 8%. Very interesting one. It's definitely one that is now on my radar. There's a few places where you can get it. Binance, Hubai, KuCoin. I believe it's also available on crypto.com. I think I, that's where I saw it. And I'm thinking about getting in very soon to Zill. It's a top 100. I really like where it's heading. And I like that it's flying under the radar. Not a lot of people are talking about it. And I'm okay with that. Now, if you got some value, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thank you so much for stopping back or stopping by for the first time. And uh, head over to the channel to see more videos like this one. We cover all different assets all the time right here on the channel. And oh yeah, I've started with some YouTube shorts, so go check those out too uh, as well. Appreciate, the, uh, appreciate your time. Thank you very much and uh, have a great one. Talk to you soon.